everyone, this is going to be a very quick video, and honestly, it's kind of optional. Uh, but what I want to do is take us and have us rebuild this page here. I'm calling it the pricing section. Um, you know, it has its cards, buy now plan, little icon. Uh, but because this isn't a CSS, you know, related class, I've decided I'm actually going to just mostly copy and paste this code in. But I'm showing it here just in case you do want to follow along um, and bring it into your project as well. So first things first, this is I'm calling this one the auth avatar. Nothing special, just purely CSS. Um, and a source prop for the URL. Then let's create another one called auth menu.view. And that's going to be right here. And let me actually just show you what this looks like. So go to your app.view page. And we're going to pull that in right here. So here I'm just saying if you are logged in, show auth menu. Otherwise, just do a sign in button. Okay, so if we go to our local browser or local host, you'll see we now have a sign in button right here. And if we click it, and it successfully logs us in, see you're currently authenticated. It gives us this nice little avatar that's hooked up to our GitHub uh, profile image. And if you click it, you get this nice little panel. So manage billing does nothing right now, but sign out does. We will implement managed billing in the future. Um, but again, this component does not have much logic at all. The key is right here. This is where we, we will eventually extend managed billing and we will extend this a bit with some logic. But as of right now, it's just calling our off avatar and it just has a lot of tail in CSS. But the source is there if you want to dig in. And then the last component is going to be pricing section dot view. So this is going to be the majority of the UI that we're going to work with from here on out. I just plug that in, and then I'm actually going to go to index dot view. I'm going to delete all of this, and I'm going to just say pricing section, and we can delete all of this for now. Now, if you go here, look at that. Looks great. Um, none of these buttons work. Uh, so, so again, there's not much that's going on. The only button, I guess, is if you do click this while logged out, it will log you in. So that's the only logic taking place. But similar to the menu, we will extend this further, um, just not quite. One additional piece of information is this tiers array is where we're storing all of this card information. So for example, if you look at this card, we have freelancer, some description information, our monthly price, and some features. Uh, here's freelancer, monthly price, description, features. So if you wanted to edit any of these cards, amounts, names, descriptions, uh, this is where you're gonna wanna do it, is within this tiers array. Okay, that's all we have for this video. It's short and sweet, um, but I think many people are going to just appreciate having the, this design built out for them. So I wanted to share it for you, with you and just kind of go over the more so the directory structure that we're going to be working with in the future. Okay, take care. Hope you learned something and we'll see you in the next one.